Hey, how's it going? My name is Otto and welcome back to another video. This is the DJI Osmo Movo 6, but I'm just gonna call it OM6. And in this video, I want to explain how to set up this gimbal and how to use it as well. The first thing that I like to do is to place the tripod on the lower part of the gimbal. Now charge the device using the supplied USB-C cable. When the gimbal is charging, you will see this battery icon blinking. When it's fully charged, this battery icon will turn off. To fully charge this gimbal, it's going to take about 19 minutes. This is the magnetic clamp that goes on your smartphone. Inside the box, you will find these anti-slip pads and the idea is to place them here on the side of the arms. Place the clamp on the phone in the middle like this and make sure this icon is pointed towards the camera. Now you need to unfold the gimbal. Move this arm clockwise like this. And now grab this arm and pull it upward. As soon as you do this, the gimbal will go into a standby mode, waiting for you to place the phone on the gimbal. You need to place the phone in a vertical position. An easy way to know which way it goes is to align the top of the gimbal with the top of the clamp and place the phone like this. You also need to make sure that the clamp is correctly mounted like this. Once you place the phone on the gimbal, it will balance the phone automatically and now it's ready to be used. This button over here is the mode button and it's also the power button. Press and hold for 2 seconds to power on or to power off the gimbal. When the gimbal is off and folded, you can also press this button to check the battery level. To use this gimbal, you will need to download the DJI MIMO app. If you're using an Android device, you will need to download the app directly from DJI's website. If you use the one from the Play Store, it's not going to work. To connect the smartphone to the gimbal, make sure that Bluetooth is on on your smartphone and also make sure that it's not connected to anything else. Now you can open the app, but the first time you use this gimbal, you will have to activate the OM6. You will need to register if you haven't done so in the past and then just follow the indications to finish activating your new gimbal. This over here is the trigger button. You can press it once to enable active tracking and the app will try to identify what's in the middle of the frame. The other way to enable active tracking is to draw a box on the screen like this on whatever you want to track. To cancel active tracking, you can press the trigger once or press the X on the green box. If you double press the trigger, it will recenter the camera. If you press, release and hold the trigger, it will enter a sport mode and this will make the gimbal react faster to your movements and this is useful for fast moving subjects or if you need to reframe as quick as possible. On the left side of the DJI OM6, we have this wheel that has two functions. First, this is going to make the camera zoom in and zoom out. And if you press it once, it will let you use it to focus manually. On the main panel, we have a joystick and this will move the camera around. By pressing this button here, it will switch between the rear and the front facing camera. And if you press it twice, it will change the orientation of the phone to horizontal or vertical mode. The red button is the shutter. If you press it once, it will take a picture or it will start or stop recording a video depending on the mode that you're using. With the mode button, you can select the different gimbal or follow modes and this is going to be indicated on the panel to the left side of the button. The OM6 has five gimbal modes. Follow mode is where the horizon level is going to be locked, but it will allow you to pan and tilt. On tilt locked, the horizon and the tilt axis are going to be locked and the pan axis is not going to be locked. So this mode is useful for panning movements or to orbit around something. POV is the first person view and on this mode, all three axes are unlocked. The spin shot is this cool effect where the camera spins around. You need to use the joystick to make the camera spin clockwise or counterclockwise. And if you want the camera to spin faster or slower, you can change the joystick speed inside the menu. To lock all the axes, 
you need to hold down the trigger and this will completely lock all the access on the gimbal. So no matter how you move the gimbal, the smartphone will be pointing at the same direction and this one is useful if you plan to walk in a straight path. On the status panel, the color of the battery icon will indicate the battery level. If it's green, it has over 60%, if it's yellow, it has between 20 and 60% and red means less than 20% left. To use the extension rod on this gimbal, all you need to do is grab this section of the gimbal and pull the extension upwards. At the top, you can also adjust the angle, just like this. To take low angle shots, we're going to be using under as long mode. And to do so, we're going to flip the gimbal upside down. The way I recommend doing it is by flipping the gimbal to the left or to the right side. Okay, so now let's take a look inside the Mimo app. Here on the right side, you will see all the major functions. Here you can select the different camera modes, for example, video mode, time-lapse, and so on. On this column, this button will change from the main camera to the selfie camera or vice versa. This button is the shutter button, and it will start recording, stop recording, or take a picture if you are on photo mode. This little hand will enable gesture control, and there are two options that you can choose. Follow and shoot will track you and record at the same time. The other option will take a picture or record, but it will not track you. Once activated, show your hand like this or do the V sign to start it. Down here, this is a playback button where you can watch your videos or pictures. On the left column, this icon will take you back to the home screen. And here you can select manual or auto settings for your ISO and shutter speed. But be aware that this only works on iPhone and not on Android devices. Over here, you can select your video resolution and on the iPhone, you can select different frame rates. Android devices will only have 30 frames per second. This button here will turn on or off the beauty effects. And the three dots over here will open the menu where you can change different settings. For example, on the video settings, you can change the white balance. You can turn on or off the grid lines on the screen. And here you can turn on face track, where the camera will start tracking you if you switch to the front facing camera. On the gimbal settings, you can select the gimbal mode, but I prefer to use the new M button on the gimbal. The follow speed is how fast the gimbal will move when you move it. Most of the time, I use this on the slow for a more cinematic look in my videos. And with this option, you can start the gimbal calibration process, but if you feel that the horizon is not straight, you can adjust the gimbal here with this option. Down here on this option, you can select how fast the gimbal moves when you use the joystick. The joystick control can be set to free and this means that the joystick will move the gimbal in any direction. But if you don't like this, you can set it to only move on a horizontal or vertical movement. To make a time lapse, you select it over here and on the top, you have a few options that you have to select. Interval is the time that will pass between two shots. For example, if you select half a second, it will take one shot or frame every half a second. Then you need to select the duration, which is how long you want the camera to be doing the time lapse. And up here, you will see that if I select a half a second interval for five minutes, my time lapse video will be 20 seconds long. Time lapse mode is how the gimbal will move when it's doing the time lapse. You can select fixed angle, so the gimbal will always point at the same direction, so there is no movement. Or you can select left to right or right to left, and the gimbal will slowly move in that direction. Hyperlapse is like a time lapse, but instead of having the gimbal sitting at the same place, it will be moving in any given direction. On the Mimo app, select hyperlapse, and here on the left, there is the option to select the resolution and the speed. The higher the speed, the faster the video will look, but you can also select automatic speed and that's what I recommend using most of the time. When you're good to go, start recording 
and start walking. If you want to make wider shots, there are three types of panorama shots that you can use. Select panorama on the right side menu and on the left side, you can select 3x3, 240 degree angle and clone me. 3x3 panorama shots will make the camera take 9 pictures on a 3x3 grid. 240 degree angle will take 7 pictures from left to right making a 240 degree angle. With panorama clone me, the camera will take a total of 3 pictures. You will have 5 seconds between every shot to move from the first position on the left side to the middle and then to the right side. Slow motion only works on iPhone at 1080p and is pretty straightforward. Just select slow motion on the right side menu and when you're ready, just press the shutter button. For dynamic zoom, you select it on the right side of the screen. Select the effect that you want, for example, move out, which in my opinion works better than move in. Select the subject on the screen, hit record and start walking backwards slowly. The Mimo app also offers a story mode, which is a set of presets or templates that will help you make a short clip with transitions, music, and even some filters. You can also activate this guide over here, which will show you a small behind the scene video clip to show you how to make a specific movement. And in some cases, it will even show you how you need to move the gimbal during that shot. I hope you found this video useful. Please don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe if you haven't done so. I hope you have an amazing day and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.